Hi there, I'm using Verbalate AI video translation and lip sync software. It's pretty amazing. Watch this. I can translate my videos into other languages. For example, I am now speaking Hindi. Namaste. I am talking about Hindi but Verbalate is very easy to make it easy. Or how about Spanish? Hola, vaya, increíble. También puedo hablar español. Sign up at verbalate.ai today to gain early access to trial the product for creators and strategic partners and gain the ability to translate and lip sync videos in all major languages. You can view the info in the description below. Now onto the video. Hi, it's Lee and welcome to the Tesla Economist. Everyone thinks Tesla and Elon are amazing. They have this whole thing planned out the entire business, industry, and future of transportation, energy, and labor for the world. And it looks amazing. Almost a utopia. If anyone doubts them, then they're asinine. How on earth could a small brain like theirs comprehend anything that Elon Musk and his army of savant engineers are aiming to achieve? People like that are playing checkers, whilst Elon is playing 3D chess, or even 4D chess, according to some people. Except that's not the case, is it? Things have not developed how Tesla have told us. We've not seen the plans come to fruition. Tesla has a dynamic business plan and is pivoting continually to where the greater success may lie. We know this because they've laid out the plans in front of us and literally called them master plans. Tesla have achieved some of this plan. There is an affordable car for the masses, depending on your definition of the masses. But having a cost of ownership comparable with a Toyota Corolla can be argued as one of those definitions. But I think most of us really infer it to mean the $25,000 Tesla, aka the Model 2 or Compact Tesla or whatever you want to call it. Elon calls it the Robotaxi. But also says the Model 3 and Y are Robotaxis too. So it doesn't help narrow down what indeed this Gen 3 car actually is or will be. With no sign of a reveal coming yet, but hopefully sometime this year, I mean, they'll start building a factory for it soon, so we surely are going to find out within the next year, one way or another. But the $25,000 vehicle didn't come out. And even on the earnings call, Elon openly said that we're no longer working on a $25,000 car. On battery day, it did feel like the $25,000 car was going to be coming out sometime soon, but it didn't. And then even on an earnings call, Elon openly said, we're no longer working on a $25,000 car, and instead try to think about an affordable travel on a per mile basis, rather than cost of ownership, implying that the affordable car is going to be a robo-taxi, not a $25,000 car. And if Tesla are able to solve FSD to a high enough level to reach robo-taxi status, this would be the most profitable avenue to pursue. It's just hard to know if and when FSD will be solved as we've been told, it will be happening this year for the last seven years. However, over that time, there has been massive improvements in the technology. So the future of the company was meant to be FSD and robotaxis, but has still not happened. However, in the meantime, Tesla discovered a way of reducing the costs of EV significantly. The most expensive part of the EV being the battery pack, and Tesla worked out how to reduce the cost of the cell with new manufacturing techniques and new cell design namely tabless cell design, that means larger cells with higher energy density and dry battery electrode processes that reduce capex and production speed by almost an order of magnitude. Of course, I'm referring to the 4680 cell. However, it turns out this was not as an easy cell to produce at scale. And even to this day, we still don't know if it is as scalable as Tesla had initially hoped. We know that there are approximately in the region of perhaps two to 3% of the run rate that we were initially told on battery day. Yes, about 1 50th perhaps, which is basically negligible compared to the promises. In the meantime though, Tesla did discover just how popular the Model Y became. The Model 3 was a great seller, but nothing close to the Model Y. Tesla really hit the jackpot with that car. It seemed to really resonate well with the auto market and has become the best selling vehicle in many markets. There's no denying the popularity of that product. But Tesla didn't know it'd be that popular, if Model 3 sales were anything to go by, and if the cost could come down through the new battery manufacturing techniques, then this car would really sell around 2 million units a year. So Tesla built more factories, 
so they could indeed reach a capacity of 2 million Model Ys a year. Except these new factories are only doing one quarter of that amount so far. This is due to the 4680 holdout. However, Tesla is a huge company and have shown that they are capable of high volume EV production in Shanghai and producing a lot of Model Ys there, even without 4680 sales. The Chinese LFP sales have been a savior to Tesla's future. So now, without 4680 potentially ramping anytime soon, and without FSD potentially that soon, Tesla have had to look at the chessboard again and work out what is the best play. Well, what pieces do they have? They have a very popular Model Y and scalable LFP batteries at relatively low cost. On top of that, Tesla were fortunate enough to receive the Inflation Reduction Act, which is huge indirectly potentially allowing Tesla to sell their vehicles for $10,000 less and receive the same profit. And this included any vehicle and sell made in the continent of North America, including Mexico, or even Greenland for that matter. But Mexico carries more advantages. It has low cost labor and obviously borders with Tesla's biggest market, the United States. Tesla have also been researching and rethinking manufacturing techniques once again for electric cars. Right, so what would you do with all of that? Well, Tesla are building a new massive factory in Mexico that will likely make a smaller version of the Model Y. It will use an LFP battery or possibly something more advanced from CATL like their new M3P cell. But either way, the cathode will be mainly iron based. But it can still be a structural battery pack, use front and rear castings, and will use Tesla's new unboxed parallel manufacturing technique to reduce costs and increase production output along with other advances like a 48 volt system supposedly using one quarter of the current amount of copper used in EVs. If the cells are made in North America too, rumored that Tesla are partnering with CATL with a new 100 gigawatt hour year facility in Texas, then there'll be a further saving of $35 per kilowatt hour for the cells. So it would appear that this is where Tesla pivoted to for now. These vehicles may very well also be designed to be perfect for robo taxis too, as I'm sure Tesla believe that they will one day solve FSD and need as many vehicles in the fleet as possible. They'll have hardware for better braking, improved cameras, faster processing and more, of which will make them ideal for robo taxis. Tesla also realized there is a large market for electric vans too. Think of the advantages you can have with an electric van, especially for people in various trades or delivery vans that drive a lot of miles each day and can thus save a fortune on gas. Like I said, Tesla couldn't call Checkmate yet with the 4680s or FSD, so they've had to retake a look at the chessboard and see what pieces they had. This isn't 4D chess, this isn't even 3D chess, it's plain old 2D chess, and there's nothing wrong with that. Tesla still have some pieces left. They may have lost their queen, but there's always the chance the pawn can make it to the other end and save the day once again. They have exceptional players who have learned more than anyone else about this game with more resources, data and expertise. If we're looking at demand of 5 million units for the next two products, then they're going to find some ways of making some great profits, especially given all the incentives. 5 million may sound like a lot, but I think it likely these vehicles won't be just for the US market. I think they'll export them and Mexico will be the export hub for the van and compact. Although we are hearing rumors that Tesla are building a sister factory somewhere. And it sounds like currently, the most likely location people are thinking is potentially Korea. Compacts are the most popular vehicle in a lot of markets like China and Europe, for example, but not so much in the US. Anyway, this is my thoughts on where Tesla are currently headed and how they will pivot. And therefore 4680 or FSD will not be essential for Tesla's growth in the meantime. And they can get on with growing the industry whilst they're working on those projects in the background. And we hope for some breakthroughs which when occur will be like winning the lottery for a lot of us. However, without them, there is still a growing EV business. Yes, of course we have energy as well, but it will just be a nice supplement. It won't be as big as EVs in the financials. And sure, the potential for bots and perhaps the AI software will be more suited for bots at first. As if a bot crashes into something, there's significantly lower chance of any fatalities when compared to a car. And I'm not a robot expert, but I like to think I have observation skills and those latest Tesla bot videos look pretty impressive to me. So who knows, maybe Tesla will end up pivoting from vehicle robots to labor robots 
whilst they still figure out some of the issues for the cars. Again, more chess pieces they have on the board. Tesla have been working so hard with so many intelligent people, they've created incredible feats in engineering and technology. They can reuse them in other areas that perhaps they were not initially designed for. So although Tesla may not be quite on track for the master plans, in the meantime, they may just deviate slightly to pick some of the fruit that they can reach already. Thanks for listening. Please hit the thumbs up and subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter and talk to me on Patreon.